In the previous lesson, we had graphs like the one you see on the screen right now. The upper one shows total cost and total revenue. The bottom one shows profit, which is total revenue minus total cost. Okay, so profit is total revenue minus total cost. If you had these graphs, either one of these graphs, it'd be easy to tell what the profit maximizing quantity was. If you had the first one with total revenue, total cost, you just try to determine where the gap between total revenue and total cost was the greatest. If you had the bottom one, then it's even easier to tell where you maximize profit. You just go to where pi is the biggest. But often in economics, we don't have these graphs. We have other graphs. For example, we have graphs of the marginals, or the averages, or marginals and averages. And so we need to figure out how to translate this geometry into averages and marginals. So first, let's think about marginal profit. Marginal profit, of course, is the slope of the total profit curve. So it starts out, in this particular example, with a pretty steep slope, and then it gets flatter. At Q star, it's a horizontal line, and then it gets the negative, the, the tangent line. It's not a very good tangent, but the tangent line goes negative. So what you notice is that right at Q star, marginal profit, which I'll denote by m pi, so m stands for marginal and pi stands for profit, marginal profit is equal to zero. Profit equals total revenue minus total cost, so marginal profit equals marginal revenue minus marginal cost. Now if you know calculus, then, then you know that the word marginal means derivative, and since the derivative of a difference is the difference of the derivatives, this follows. If you don't know calculus, you ought to take my word for it, but it is not a result I think that seems in any way strange. Again, if, if profit is total revenue minus total cost, then marginal profit is marginal revenue minus marginal cost. So at Q star, now looking back on the left, at Q star marginal profit equals zero, and we know that marginal profit is marginal revenue minus marginal cost, so at Q star, Marginal revenue minus marginal cost equals zero. Add marginal cost to both sides, and you get at Q star, marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We can illustrate that. L look in the upper right hand graph. The total revenue curve is a straight line, so a marginal revenue curve has the same slope as it, and at Q star, the tangent line, the total revenue, tangent line to total revenue and the tangent line to total cost are parallel to each other, which means that marginal revenue, which is the slope of total revenue, equals marginal cost, which is the slope of total cost, at, at that point, which is the Q star point. So at Q star, marginal revenue equals marginal cost, and at Q star, marginal profit is equal to zero. You may even have run across this notion that at Q star, MR equals MC in your principles class. And the question is, is this a fundamental principle. Is it always true that marginal revenue equals marginal cost at Q star? So let's talk about some difficulties that might arise. The first difficulty is what happens if sketch a profit versus quantity looks like this. Here we've got two places where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, that is, where marginal profit is equal to zero. Call it point, point A and point B. 
So here, knowing that marginal revenue equals marginal cost would not be enough to pick out whether A and B is the right answer. Now it's clear that B is the right answer because that's where profit is maximized. The profit, it, the profit is taller at B than it is at A in the graph. But there's no way to tell that by just knowing marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Uh, an even greater difficulty is the next example. Let's suppose total revenue looks like this, total cost looks like this. Profit starts out, no, total cost is starting here at minus fixed cost. Profit, total revenue, of course, is zero at q equals zero. So profit starts out at minus fixed cost. Profit is revenue minus cost at zero. Revenue is zero. Cost is FC. So profit is minus fixed cost. And then the graph would look like this. So the optimal point is this one. You want to pick Q equals zero. You're making negative profit there, but any other Q that you would pick, for example, this one or this one or this one, or this one makes it even worse. Makes profit even worse. So Q star would be equal to zero. That's the profit maximizing level of output. But Marginal profit there is not necessarily zero. It depends on the angle at which this thing comes in at. And if that angle, let's say, looks like that, then the marginal at that point is not zero. The marginal is along is along this line. So in other words, marginal profit at q equals zero is not zero in this example even though q star is zero. In other words, if, if we let marginal profit star denote the optimal marginal profit, then the optimal marginal profit in this example is not equal to zero. This example the one in the upper right shows that MR equals MC is not sufficient for profit maximization. That's not that means it's not enough to know that MR equals MC. In this example shows that MR equals MC is not necessary for profit maximization because we had profit maximization and we didn't have MR equals MC because of course when marginal profit is not equal to zero then MR is not equal to MC. So In some sense, this makes th what you might think of, and what even lots of textbooks represent, which is MRMC, is not as important a result as it at first appears. The fundamental result is that you want to maximize profit, and you do what you whatever you have to do in order to maximize profit. Sometimes that means setting MR equals MC, and sometimes it doesn't. Usually it does. But in the examples that we're going to be looking at uh, in, in the next few videos, we're going to see situations where it does and situations where it doesn't. So MR equals MC is not the fundamental principle. The fundamental principle is you want to maximize profit.